Streamlabs is sponsoring me to tell you how to take that YouTube clip, that Twitch clip, edit it up, and then post it on your Facebook stories or on Facebook videos very effectively, saving a ton of time. Streamlabs has designed this new program. It's called Cross Clip. Let me show it to you. That allows you to basically take a piece of content either from YouTube, you've clipped it up here, or Twitch, you've clipped it up here, and then you basically copy the URL. You bring it over to crossclip.com. If you haven't already gone here, go here, link below, and then you paste the, the uh, URL of your clip here. You hit Get Clip, and then it's going to bring it into this cloud-based editor. And then you're going to be able to edit the clip for whatever format you want. For Facebook, obviously, you're going to want to look at square format or portrait format, depending on whether you're doing stories or you're doing Facebook video. Then once you've edited your piece of content, you're going to hit compile, and then it's going to export a final social media worthy either portrait format video, a square format video, or, or even a landscape format video. It will be available like this one uh, for you to use depending on what you are looking to accomplish on Facebook. Pretty cool, right? MJ TV is the example we're using here, one of my digital consulting clients. If none of this made sense from how do you make a clip on YouTube or Twitch? How do you bring it into CrossClip? How do you edit it? What do you mean bring it here to export? I've got tutorial videos on all of these steps leading up to this, so watch all of those to catch up because where we're at now is we're ready to post. Now, once you have your video complete, you're going to see a share button over here. Uh, the share button is not going to post to Facebook properly. It's going to take a link and bring it over there. You don't want that. Uh, you can also download if you want. Uh, you can download the video here on desktop and then post through Facebook desktop if you'd like. That's up to you. I recommend just posting from your phone, uh, especially for those of you that are using Facebook Stories. So once you have finished compiling the clip here, it's going to show up on your CrossClip mobile app, which is free. Download it right now. It's the companion app. So every clip you render on desktop on the web-based version of CrossClip will automatically show up here and you'll be able to access it in post on Facebook accordingly. So let's say, for example, we wanted to post a Facebook story. Um, so what we're gonna do, we have the option to click whatever clip we wanna post to our story. This is just an example from m and TV. We're gonna hit share and we're gonna scroll down and look at our sharing options. Now, as you can see, it says Facebook news feed. It says Facebook profile to your groups regular Facebook. I don't like any of these options. I don't recommend just using this normal sharing option on your phone. It just isn't that helpful. Uh, so what I recommend doing instead is going to the actual Facebook app and then posting natively through the Facebook app. You're going to have more options and more control here. So as you can see, there's an add a story button there for me. You're going to hit the add a story button. Now you can choose any of the cross clip uh, pieces of content that you've created. Got it? So we're going to just choose this one right here. And then you can go through the normal process of adding text, adding stickers, trimming the video, whatever you want to do, and then posting it to your Facebook stories. This is not a video on how to optimize a video for Facebook stories. This is just to show you how to get it there. Got it? Awesome, right? Just saved you a ton of time. You clipped it, you edited it automatically on your phone and ready to post to your stories on Facebook. So sick. But you can also use this to post just a regular quote unquote Facebook video. So how do you do that? So what you're going to do is click the what's on your mind section here on mobile, and then you're going to do photo slash video. And then you're going to choose the video of your choice, preferably um, a square format or a landscape format video. Uh, for this, but you can also do multiple videos if you'd like. I'm going to choose this particular video, and then you're going to say something about the video itself, and then you're going to post it on Facebook. Just like that, seriously. It's that easy to post a video on Facebook from your mobile phone in particular. Now, if you're wanting to add things like a thumbnail and other deep metadata, then you'll need to go through uh, Facebook's desktop version of uh, their uh, of the uh, of creator manager and uh, the backend creator studio in Facebook to do that, and that is much more complicated. So this is going to be primarily benefiting cross clip is going to be primarily benefiting people that just want to do Facebook stories in particular or get a fast clip out there on their page without having to worry about deep highly edited metadata filled videos with thumbnails. This is just a quick story, a quick video to your followers, etc. 
That's what this is designed for. If you want to pick up CrossClip, link below to it. It's free to try out. There is a paid version with some extra features, and that's how you get your videos very quickly from YouTube and Twitch onto Facebook, edited in a snap. Thank you to Streamlabs for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. Adios, creators.